Rene Descartes, going back to Plato, said human beings consist of two substances. Uh, one of them is a mental substance, which has to do with the, the soul, and the other is a physical substance that has to do with the brain. This goes all the way back to Plato, and it basically kind of divides human beings in two. Neuroscientists following Descartes basically focused more and more and more on the brain, which was seen to be machine-like and work according to the laws of Galileo. And we lost interest for several hundred years in the notion of, of the mind and the soul. In some ways it was banished, but it can never be banished for very long. And the reason it can't be banished for very long is because while neuroscientists may think that the thing that's most certain is the thing about the things about the brain you can you can measure. In fact, it's probably the case that what's most certain in our lives is our subjective experience. So the notion of modern science as having to always be on the side of the objective may be a serious miscalculation. And the attempts to better understand the subjective may actually be um, the way science ultimately redeems itself.